Konnichiwa, everybody. Today, I'd like to talk to you about cleaning up and controlling your Facebook-like image. Sometimes a few of the more important website fundamentals get lost in the launch of a client's project. These things range anywhere from a browser's favicon image to the website's analytic performance tracking solution. All of the main core deliverables need to be the responsibility of the technology service entity and or cousin that makes them websites on them their interwebs. Uh, I know you've come across a few of these people and I sure have too. Joy. One of the most commonly missed core deliverables is the integration of Facebook's Open Graph Protocol. And if you don't know what Open Graph Protocol is, then I suggest reading up on it. Uh, go to Facebook deliver uh, Facebook's developers website. Uh, go to developers.facebook.com. And for this, let's go to docs slash Open Graph. And the uh, Open Graph protocol is well documented here. We're going to go through a few of these things as the post goes on. But the basic idea is when someone links to your website on Facebook, you want to have control over the image and description in their status. We do not want random images showing up in their Facebook status, nor do we want random descriptions in there either. Facebook gives us a simple API to manage this data, so why not take advantage of it? Go to the Facebook developer's website and sign in. So we're just going to go to developers.facebook.com and just go ahead and sign into Facebook first and then what I'm going to want you to do is click on apps and we're going to go from there and you'll notice once you get in here there's a numerous amount of tools that Facebook offers but we will just focus on the meat and potatoes concept of controlling the image and description of the user status for this post so first things first we'll go through that and you'll notice in uh, some post coming up there's going to be a lot more of these uh, tutorials on all the uh, different kind of things that Facebook offers. So like I said go ahead and uh, sign in to Facebook and create a new app. So click on apps to get started. We'll click on apps and I've already signed in so you can see I have uh, a few things in here and I created a, a, an app for my website because we're going to need the app ID and we're going to need to paste it into our Open Graph Meta Code. So let's look at what exactly some of those details on that Open Graph Meta Code are. Let's go back a few and find where we have that here. Great. So we'll notice that the uh, you know obviously the first tag on your website is going to be the doc type, whether that's uh, XML strict. Uh, uh, or if you're using um, HTML5 at this point, which is uh, preferred. Uh, the second line is going to be the HTML tag. So in the HTML tag, we have uh, some of the Open Graph technology uh, metadata here uh, as uh, XML, NS, Facebook, Facebook.com, some of these things that Open Graph needs to uh, get started. Then we have the Open Graph metadata. And these are some basic things that uh, they, uh, they tell us to enter in here. The only tag that might not be completely obvious is the open graph type. The open graph type is asking what the content of this website is defined as. So you can't just enter in anything that you uh, want to put in here. You have to use their actual open graph um, suggested markup or, or types, if you will. So if you're a, a, a business, you might put company, or if you're a cafe, you would put cafe. For me, since I'm a website, I'm putting website. Or if you're a, um, a blog, you might want to put blog if that's your the main thing of your website. And you're going to put that content in. Now once we have all this data in the head of our website, we're going to need to debug this somehow. We're going to need to validate it. So what we need to do is go to developers.com, excuse me, developers.facebook.com slash tools slash debug. So this is where we're going to validate our markup. So they ask you to input your URL or access token. So I have my website right here, useyourfred.com, and we're going to click on debug. See what we get. 
hopefully my website validates. Bam! Perfect, right? I'm not getting any error codes in here. Everything looks to be uh, the way it should. I have my URL, my type, website, my app ID, description, image, everything that I uh, wanted to put in here. Phone number, yada yada. This is a, a great way to get your data in here. So once you do it yourself, I want you to do the same thing. I want you to hit debug, make sure you don't have any error messages. And then the last thing that we want to check is how does this look in Facebook? So let's grab my URL, just like you're going to grab your URL. You're going to go to update status, right? And put in a status. Mine's acting a little funny, so let's go ahead and refresh the page. So update status. I'm gonna go here, put in my URL. Bam! Look at that. Nice, right? I got my description, my URL, all this information in here, my image. Perfect. So if I hit post, it's gonna post exactly the way I want it to post. So if you did this, you'll notice it's a pretty painless process. Facebook has this well documented all the steps that you're gonna need to take. Um, so I suggest go and try this out. And once you have this, venture a little bit forth into uh, the Facebook developer zone and really explore the room, get to know uh, all the flavors of technology that Facebook has to offer and try out a few different things. But for this, um, I say this is pretty successful. We have this exactly the way we want. We have our like book image and we can control that and all the different uh, descriptions that we wanna do. So I hope this tutorial helps, and uh, give me a shout out, give me a comment, let me know. Appreciate it.